Truth be told, I'm not a very big fan of the Mercedes-Benz CLA. I think its ride is too harsh, its powertrain unrefined, and its interior is as logically arranged as one of Picasso's paintings. And for some reason, it really irks me that Mercedes classifies the CLA as a coupe when it clearly has four doors. But if you wanted a small Mercedes sedan, or rather a small Mercedes coupe with four doors, the CLA was the only game in town. Or rather, it was the only game in town. This is the brand new A-Class sedan, and it's Mercedes in-house alternative to the CLA. The new A-Class is roughly the same size as the CLA, and it even uses the same basic 2.0-liter turbocharged engine. But there are some pretty big differences. Unlike the CLA, the A-Class has a thoroughly modern interior with these two big screens and climate controls you don't have to put on your bifocals to use. In fact, in the A-Class, you don't even have to use these climate controls. Mercedes. How can I help you? Set the temperature to 74 degrees. To 74 degrees. How modern is that? Another difference is interior space. The A-Class has some. Because this doesn't have the sloping roof line of a coupe like the CLA, you get more room in the front. And a rear seat that can actually be used by adults. And things get even better out on the road. The A-Class has a softer suspension than the CLA, and its tires also have a thicker sidewall. So this rides like a proper Mercedes luxury sedan. And the cost of all these improvements over the current generation CLA? Well, with a starting price of $32,500, the A-Class is actually $600 cheaper than the CLA. Of course, you do have to give up a couple things to save that $600. This may have the same basic engine as the CLA, but it has less power. Whereas the CLA has 208 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque, this has 188 horsepower and 221 pound-feet of torque. The A-Class also has a smaller trunk than the CLA, which is a pretty impressive engineering feat. But while a 40% reduction in trunk size is noticeable, the difference in power really isn't. This A-Class has less power than the CLA, but it can get from 0 to 60 in roughly the same time. Both cars have the same top speed of 130 miles per hour. And I'd argue that the A-Class is one of the rare cases where less power is actually better. One of my biggest gripes of the CLA was a peaky engine that could make the car feel high strung. But with less power, those peaks have been rounded out, so the A-Class is much more relaxing to drive. Of course, you can't bring up a comparison with the CLA without discussing styling. Even though the current CLA is six years old and scheduled to be replaced next year, I think it's still a sharp looking vehicle. But the A-Class is just better. The overall styling is more modern and crisp, and I far prefer the look of a traditional sedan roof. But really, we need to spend more time on this interior because I just can't get over how much better it is than the CLA. It's not an incremental upgrade. It's like Mercedes jumped ahead three generations. Let's start with design because everything in here really is beautiful. There are these air vents that manage to be retro and futuristic. This carved out section in the dash that's lined with wood. Ambient lighting everywhere. This open console design that manages to make the cabin feel more airy. And this car's optional two-tone red and black leather upholstery. Even the grab handles on the doors, which Mercedes could have just used molded plastic for, are these aluminum sculptures that gently curve into the door. It all feels very Volvo-ish, which is one of the highest praises you can give a car. And then there's the tech. The A-Class really is more of a mobile command center than it is an automobile. The driver is faced with two massive high-definition screens that can be fiddled with in any number of ways. You can use these small touchpads on either side of the steering wheel to control the screens, or you can click your way through the menus via this trackpad in the middle. Or if you're feeling a bit more creative, you can just use this pad to draw exactly what you want. You can even operate the system as a normal touchscreen. And if you can't be bothered to use any of those, you can use the voice command I showed you earlier to control pretty much everything. I'm surprised I can't turn off the engine by clapping. No, that doesn't work. And no matter which of the controls you choose to use, the system is really easy to navigate. The home screen has a few simple categories, and you just click the one you want to bring up that submenu. How logical is that? So there it is, the all-new 2019 Mercedes-Benz A-Class, the thinking person's CLA. Overall, I'm really impressed with the A-Class. I think it looks good, it's nice to drive, and on the inside, it's basically a baby S-Class. If you want a small Mercedes sedan, this is the one to have. Or at least, it's the one to have until the brand new CLA comes out later this year.